So we have a patient that is coming here today with pain. She, we've had some physical therapy done on her. She has pain on the outside of the foot right here, as you can see in this area. And uh, the minute we touch here, it hurts her a little bit, and it goes up to her midfoot almost. But it starts from this point right here. This is the point where you have the insertion of one tendon that comes down this way. It goes to this area. And that tendon sometimes gets uh, frustrated and you get pain with it. You can see some swelling in this area from that. So we've tried physical therapy. It's not helping the best. There's still pain there. And we tried oral medication, not helping either. So we're going to try and put some cortisone in there. Is that okay with you? Yes. All right. You want to lie down? You want to stay up? We're going to try and clean it up a little bit. And uh, usually the best thing is to just do a little bit of phenidine. And that gives the patient an instant tan, see? And then a little bit of alcohol. If you have some alcohol, that would be nice. And there we go, some alcohol after that. And this way when I inject, it doesn't cause a tattoo to the patient. All right, so it's all nice and clean. And you want to tilt over this way for me? Just tilt the knee over. There you go. Great. And then we have a mixture of medication here. We have I have my own cocktail that I do. It's a uh, two anesthetics, two cortisones. We use a very fine needle. We inject right into the area of pain, and then we distribute it. We fan it up. You ready? Deep breath in and out. There you go. Okay, here we go, going in right now. You feel that too much? Nope. Talk to me. Nope, just a the little more? pressure. Okay, good. A little pinch, a little pressure. All right, so what we do is we do a little bit of fanning. So as I'm going in, I'm rotating my needle, so as the bevel of the needle will actually insert all kinds of medication everywhere. I try to avoid a lot of the basic structures uh, especially venous backflow. I'm only doing it in the actual tendon itself. And you can see the fanning that I'm doing in and around the tendon area and in and around the area of pain. And then I do a little bit also in the peroneus longus, which is right underneath the peroneus brevis, right next to the cuboid area. Usually you want the patient to be relaxed after this, take a 24-hour break from doing activities. And that's it, really, you're done.